Good morning, everyone. It's Kat with Traders Help Desk, and I just wanted to show the futures. Um, I have been talking about the futures because uh, I thought it would be going down. We were overextended on the stochastics here. You, you can see that very clearly, and I expected it to um, come down more than likely to the ATR. That's the normal area. It could have been stopped by either of these moving averages, and as you can see, it was not. Now, it would not surprise me right now if we got a retracement back to either 76.37, 75, or even up to um, 76.46 area. And what they're going to do is test for resistance. In other words, they broke through the support area, but now they need to test for resistance to make sure that it holds. Now, we could go a little bit lower because, as you can see here, we're not quite oversold yet. I would actually like to see it go below this low area at 72.76 before we get that retracement. That would kind of be on my wish list. Now, notice that I have the monthly over here now. And the reason is because we're at the ATR over here, does that mean it's going to bounce from that ATR? When you're looking at the monthly, you can see that it is now approaching that overbought area. So we may even get a retracement on the monthly chart as well. However, again, I would be anticipating some sort of retracement prior to that happening. Okay. Um, now, when markets go down, they go down really fast. Some traders uh, feel that they're a little bit harder to trade. I enjoy uh, shorting the market. So, to me, it's uh, not complicated at all. However, it does fall pretty quickly when it decides to fall. So, you also have to be quick. Now, you can also see these patterns on the ES as well. Uh, almost identical to what we're seeing on the NASDAQ. And I'm sure a couple of you thought, you know, uh, I've been talking about the market dropping for two or three weeks now. And I'm quite sure that some of you thought I was crazy because we were in a bull market. But we were in a bull market that was very overextended. And when you get that overextension, then traders are going to take profits. Okay. Now, will this profit take and change the market? We don't know that yet. Um, we have been in an uptrend since 2010. Um, so it's been a bull market, I believe, since about July of 2010. So we are due for a significant retracement. Is this the time? I don't know. Um, time will tell that. But as I told you a few weeks ago, you really needed to lock in those profits um, because the market was going to take it and it was going to take it quick. So don't be totally surprised if we get uh, a downward movement uh, that takes out this prior low at 2792-ish and then it instantly starts to retrace. I mean, that would be totally normal. And one of the reasons that it would is because typically what happens when you go down like this and then it will come back to test for resistance and that's when it will come down again it forms that resistance area that's what I want to see and then I would start doing some longer term trades um, that will probably last for uh, a month or two because I do believe we might get some more downward movement but it's not quite set up for those longer term trades yet it may be shortly, though.